Hey guys, welcome back. Um, as some of you may have noticed, I did not post a 16 week bump date. Um, I actually, we went out of town the weekend right when I was turning 16 weeks um, and I just ended up really not feeling well. I even called out of work on Monday morning. I had a little touch of something, something was going on. Um, I was <laughs> awake at like three o'clock in the morning in like extreme pain, not in my stomach or anything. I'm just like my head pounding, so. Oh, that was not fun and I kept thinking oh I'll do a 16 week and like one day and then I'll do a 16 week and two day and then I just kept putting it off because the week is really busy which is why I try to designate this to doing it on the specific day so and to be honest there weren't a lot of changes or updates or anything um, it was pretty much the same so I'm just gonna tack it on to kind of this 17 week bump date so here we are with 17 weeks um, This is so crazy to me. Honestly, can I be honest with you guys the past? Mm, maybe like four days Obviously, you know pregnancy symptoms like nausea And all that kind of stuff start to fade um, And then people will say like oh you'll forget you're pregnant sometimes and I I was like, okay, and so I don't know that it's that I forget I'm pregnant only because I've wanted this for so long and it's finally here and I definitely can't forget that I'm pregnant, but it's like I almost don't feel pregnant. Like I even feel like my stomach has shrunk a little bit. Um, it could obviously just be the baby moving around and stretching out a little more or moving back or back um, further in my uterus, which is fine, but um, it's just like, oh, come on, I'm not like my belly's shrinking, it feels like. I don't have any symptoms. Um, I haven't really felt any movement, but we'll get into that. And so, um, yeah, it's just it's just a weird feeling that I just don't feel pregnant. Not that I've forgotten, but that it's like, <laughs> I like said, like, am I really pregnant? <laughs> um, so, first thing we're going to talk about is baby and how baby is doing at 17 weeks. So, I'm using, what app is this? The Pregnancy Plus app. So this has a few stipulations and I was gonna stop using this app because it does start charging you after the first trimester um, for some of the features. But for just how baby is doing, I really like it and I like the images that it uses um, and I think it's very accurate. So baby is five inches long, a little bit over five inches long and weighs about 4.94 ounces. Okay, your baby, the baby's veins that have been showing through your baby's skin are becoming less obvious as fat formations begin. Um, even though your baby has had taste buds for quite some time, it is only now that it can really make out differences in flavor. Your baby is now the same size as the placenta and the little heart is busy pumping 25 quarts of blood a day. So I had just so you guys know, I haven't read this yet. So my surprise is your surprise. I had no idea that the baby is now the same size as placenta. That's crazy. The meconium, the first bowel movement your baby will give after birth, is forming in your little one's bowel. That's weird. Your baby is big enough to fit into the palm of your hand and is about the size of an orange. Your baby's brain is communicating constantly with the nervous system um, and muscles and you are more likely to feel the movements now. Okay, well, let's talk about that now since brought up. I feel like, yes, there have been movements. It's really, really quick um, things, like pokes. And a lot of times, I can't even tell if it's just like my jeans rubbing up against my belly because it's, I wouldn't say I don't, I feel it on the outside, I don't, but it's just so quick. It's like, what? what is that? So I really am having a hard time. Like, is that the baby? Okay, like I don't want to... I'm a very honest person and I would hate to say, oh, the baby's definitely kicking and then everyone would be like, you're an idiot, you have gas bubbles, but I don't know. So there has there have been movement and I do believe some of it has been the baby movement. Um, I'm just anxious to be feeling the baby more um, and a little stronger. This, this is like very questionable at this stage, but once again, I'm only 17 weeks pregnant, first pregnancy, so we'll see, especially if the baby's been moving back. A little bit of my stomach getting a little smaller um, and then it will grow and it kind like sometimes it, it just looks weird I don't know the baby it's weird okay so your body your breasts are continuing to grow and may begin to show signs of stretch marks girl I already had that when I was like 14 okay um, 
If the line has not appeared on your abdomen yet, it might show up now. It's not. I was chubby before. It's going to take a little while, I think. Or if it's been present for a while, it will likely get darker. It will disappear after your baby is born. There is a constant and steady gain in weight. Your pregnancy is more visible now that your uterus is the size of a small melon. Unfortunately, backaches often make an appearance at this stage due to the fact that your abdomen is being pushed out, thereby putting more pressure on your lower back. So, fun news, um, I got a pregnancy pillow because I had my stomach was getting so big. I'm like, maybe it's just the fact that it stayed the same size. You guys let me know, I'll show you in a minute. But um, I got a pregnancy pillow and it has been a game changer. I was having a hard time because I'm either a back sleeper or a stomach sleeper. I mean, I'm starting to prop a pillow under me, which is fine, the pillow is working, but the issue was is that like, I would have to like roll over with the pillow and it was like getting caught on stuff and then I'd wake up, have to fully move, get recomfortable, and then try and fall back asleep. And if you know my husband, He's a snorer, so if I wake up and have any long amount of time trying to fall asleep, it's like nearly impossible. So um, that was not fun. So we got a body pillow that, pillow that wraps all the way around. Um, I got it on overstock.com. We went to Target and found one, and it was like really thin uh, material on the inside, and like the outside material just felt like scratchy and uncomfortable, and it was $55, and I was like, Dude, no, I can go buy that on Overstock for pretty much the same price. And there are a lot of um, pillows on Overstock for that price, if not lower. Um, I ended up buying like a $66 pillow. It's alternative down, um, only because I'm very picky <laughs> with my sleeping stuff. So, but it was, I mean, I paid what, 11 more dollars for that to have a really, really nice pregnancy pillow. And at Walmart or Target, it was 55 bucks. Not, I love Target. Like that is, I was just telling my husband that is my Disneyland, okay? But I was not pleased with that pillow and it was the only pillow option there. So we talked about baby. Let's talk a little bit more about my symptoms. Um, so as I've talked about before, they've kind of disappeared. I do want to talk about one weird one, going, tracking back a little bit. Um, I think to like right when I was turning 16 weeks. Um, I did, you know, I did have a very vivid dream as many pregnant women do, as I do many nights. And um, I had this dream that I was breastfeeding my baby. And I woke up with a spot, like just like the tiniest, like probably drop spot. And it was dried um, now and kind of crusty. I know that's kind of gross, but near my nipple region. And I was like, did I like have that dream then like lactate a little bit? I don't, can't say, I didn't spill anything on myself, it was like a clean shirt I wore to bed, so I'm guessing that's what it was, but I'd never had that before, it was so strange, and I haven't like, nothing has come out of them since, so it was just a weird symptom to me. Um, I hadn't, I, I just didn't know that was going to be a thing, but apparently it's going to be a thing. Um, I'm trying to think of any other symptoms. I have had the back aches, but not really now since I've gotten the pregnancy pillow, actually. It's actually fixed a lot of that because I can sleep so comfortably. Um, even it allows me in some instances to not feel so guilty about sleeping on my back. Not that I'm like at the point yet where sleeping on my back is super dangerous. Um, but I'm obviously trying to kick that habit. Um, but it just gives so much support that like I'm kind of like leaning on my side but my whole back is supported. But it feels almost like I'm sleeping on my back. It's just really nice. So that has kind of relieved my any back pain. And then I'm obviously having the headache still. Not as frequent, not as bad. And then I think I'm able to manage them when they come on quicker. So that's really the only symptoms I have I have at this at this stage. Um, and then for cravings wise, I know I haven't really talked at all about cravings. Even in my first trimester video, I didn't really talk about any of the cravings I had. Um, at first, all I wanted was like cheeseburger and McDonald's fries. That's like it. Not even necessarily McDonald's cheeseburger, but just cheeseburgers. But it's so weird. My whole life, I've like loved everything on my cheeseburgers, um, except for tomato. Um, I've loved everything on them. Like lettuce, mayo, anything, ketchup, mustard, anything. I like loved it on there. And then like now since being pregnant, even still, I'm like, I will take a cheeseburger ketchup only. I like, think it's like the weirdest thing. I'm like, why are you so plain? But it's fine. Um, so, and I still really, really love um, a McDonald's french fries for some reason, which is awful. But, uh, 
in my first trimester, I was really, really craving Fruit Loops, cheeseburgers, um, that kind of stuff. Now, I will say, I talked my boss into buying the office Otter Pops <laughs> because I was craving Otter Pops and she did and everyone loved it. So she bought a bunch of popsicles. But yeah, I talked her into to getting some Otter Pops because last week I was, well, it's hot out here now. We're in Arizona, so it's hot. And I'm like, what, what a perfect thing to come back from lunch break from being outside in the heat or like in your car or whatever, wherever you are and come back in and you get an Otter Pop because it's hot out. So it's pretty awesome. So weight gain. So last time I weighed myself, which was two days ago, um, I had mentioned in a previous video I was up seven pounds and then a couple I had lost a couple of that so then I was only had only gained four pounds. Um, now I'm back up to the have gained a total of seven pound range. I'm trying to keep it within that, not really gain any weight, only because I'm not supposed to be gaining a ton, a ton this pregnancy, um, which is fine. I I just want to be in a healthy weight range. Um, for myself and for baby, which is fine. Um, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. If I'm gonna gain more, that's fine. But I just like to keep an eye on it because I do not eat the best. I do give in to a lot of cravings. Um, I try, I'm trying, I have vegetables here. Um, I had a really hard time with the vegetables and chicken the first trimester. Um, I'm just now getting to be okay with chicken. I can only eat so much of it. Um, it makes me feel queasy still a little bit. I don't know if it's a texture thing and then and if it's a raw vegetable, I can do it. Like if I'm dipping like broccoli and ranch, I'm a-okay. But as soon as you steam that broccoli and it's soft, mm -mm. nope, can't do it. And it's, I think that like, I don't think now it's an inversion thing. I think because it was such a strong inversion in my first trimester that now it's like, ugh. you know, it's like when you eat a lot of something when you're a kid and you get sick that night and have the flu, like you don't eat that thing anymore. Um, even though it's not gonna make you sick, you know what I mean? It's just like the sound of it is not fun. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Now, um, I have a checkup on this coming Friday, which I will be 17 weeks and let's see, four days. So I'll be kind of like on like the, my way to 18 weeks when I have my appointment. And at this appointment, uh, it's just a normal one, I get to sc schedule my anatomy scan, which I am like dying to have. First of all, I'm already having a hard time, like even like, am I pregnant? So it'd be great to see the baby. I listened to the heartbeat. Um, and I'm like, obviously there's something in there growing and it's strong, but it's mind over matter, I guess. But, um, so I'm waiting for that anatomy scan. We are so desperately like waiting to find out what we're having. Um, we kind of have this feeling it's a boy and I hate saying that because then it puts an expectation on there and I don't want disappointment. Not that a little girl would not be completely and 100% like adored and loved by us because she so would. Um, we just have our heart kind of set in a boy and I just need this to be a no judgment zone. Um, obviously I'm going to be excited no matter what. We've been waiting for a baby for so long and I'm just so happy. There's just, I think. I don't know, maybe it's a boy and that's why I'm feeling this way, but totally maybe it's not and I'm, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll be okay either way. I'll be so excited um, because like I think about like if it's a girl, I can buy like all those cute little rompers and headbands and all this stuff and it's just gonna be the most beautiful little girl. But um, I just saw my sister have a baby boy and I like want that bond. So maybe that's why too. Um, so who knows? We're just excited to find out either way um, what it is. So just don't judge me for wanting a boy. It's okay to want one over the other, right? Um, I would I would be happy either way, but I'm kind of leaning one way. We want both one day. So if we don't get a boy now, then in the future hopefully we get a boy. Um, but that's just kind of where we're at for this pregnancy is kind of what we're leaning towards. So we keep asking, well, and it doesn't help that everyone like keeps calling it a him, like everyone. I'm like, dude, we don't know what it is. Stop saying that. Like my husband, my family, his family, like just people we know are like, oh yeah, how's he doing? I'm like, like, okay. I'm like, I'm trying not to have like a stipulation in my head about what the baby's gonna be. Cause I was gonna feel like crap if I've been calling it a him this whole time. And you guys have been calling it a him this whole time. And it's a girl. It's gonna be a precious little baby girl. And we don't know. So anyways, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping that I can schedule it for only like a few days later. Um, I don't know if that'll work out. This isn't like a huge clinic. Um, so if I go on a Friday, I'm kind of hoping I can schedule it for that Monday. They've actually been really, really good about scheduling. So they seem to have a lot of open appointments during the day. Um, so we'll see. But um, that's my hope. If not, then at least maybe a week later. 
um, at 19 weeks. I just really want to know what the baby is. I want to see my baby. I want to see my baby moving. Last I saw it looked like a turkey blob. <laughs> um, so like I'm, and we saw the heartbeat, which was great, but I'm just ready to see like some more features. You know, I want to make sure it has 10 fingers and 10 toes um, and all that kind of fun stuff. So that's what we're looking forward to. So let me do a quick belly shot for you guys, show you how big or small my belly is looking right now. I mean, I'm not pushing out. Like, I'm trying to push out now. No, well, it's hard because the push out's not a really big difference, but. That's it, a bump. It's just a little guy still. Um, I'm sure because now that the baby is like, maybe my uterus is like moving up, the baby is. And also I'm feeling too, as my uterus moves up, my organs, you know, are getting smushed. Now they're adjusting to their, their place and I think it's gonna continue that kind of route. So we'll see, I don't know. If you have experience in that, let me know with your belly size like drastically changing. I don't know, it's weird, it's a weird thing. Cause then I'm like, what the heck is my body doing? Okay guys, so um, I think that's all for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry that I didn't post last week for 16 weeks, but here's your 17 week. Um, we love you guys. Once again, any questions at all, um, if I didn't go into gory of detail enough for you, um, you can always ask me in the comments and I'll probably reply in the comments that way. Not everyone has to listen. Um, but yeah, anything, any questions at all, just let me know. Anything I missed, let me know. Um, and I will pop back in to talk to you guys about my 18 weeks. All right, bye-bye.